Hey everyone, my name's Jeff. Welcome back to Jones Works. Today we've got a simple one. We're gonna make this set of cornhole boards. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now let's get to the project. All right, hello everyone. First I wanna say, I did not come up with this design. I've seen it a few places. I've seen John Malecki make this and Brad Rodriguez. And if you want a set of plans, they're over on the Fix This Build That YouTube channel. I wasn't going to actually film this project, mostly because I had a really short time window. And like I said, this isn't my design, but I think this video proves that you don't need a big fancy shop to start making things. So I decided to go ahead with it. So to begin, we're just cutting all the 2x4s to length and then we're putting a rabbit in the top side of the 2x4s to receive the half inch uh, plywood board that is going to make up the top. After that, we miter the corners and unlike picture frames, we're taking our measurements on the outside of the boards. Now because I've got about five projects going on in the shop right now. We're actually going to start this assembly in my truck bed. Uh, later on, we'll have the workbench back, but at least for now, we're gonna use my tailgate. And, you know, that's the beauty of woodworking. You don't need a bunch of fancy tools. You don't need a big, fancy workshop. If you wanna start making things, just, just start doing it. Now, I'm just gluing and screwing these together. I think if I had a little bit more time, I would probably plug the holes, but I was really in a time crunch in this project, so just glue and screws is plenty strong. I'm actually going to be painting this project, so the screws will be hidden at least a little bit. It, it won't be perfect, but I, I think it'll uh, be good enough for this project. Now working in my truck bed, these clamps really came in handy. They were like an extra hand. Um, and as you can see, when I screwed the one side together, these long stretcher pieces were actually kind of pointing towards each other. So you can reverse the head on your clamps and use them as a stretcher bar. And I just used a couple of two by fours to make up the gap. Now here I'm using a six inch hole saw. You could easily use a jigsaw for this. I just happen to have this jigsaw because back in my college days, I used to make beer pong tables and cornhole boards to make money. And so I already had this thing. And of course it helps if you tighten the chuck all the way. Once you're done cutting the hole, I like to round over the edge. So when you reach through to grab the bags, you don't have any sharp edges. Next, we're gonna move on to the legs. Here I'm just drilling the holes for the bolts that the legs will pivot off of. Now after drawing a curve using the bottom of a spray paint can, I'm using my bandsaw to remove most of the waste and then I sand up to the line using my oscillating spindle sander. You could easily just use a palm sander though. Next, I made a quick template so I could drill the holes for the legs in the same spot on either side. I just moved it straight over so that hole was in the same exact spot. At this point, I just decided to paint mine. To find the angle uh, to cut the legs, I temporarily attach them and then hang them off the side of my workbench and draw a line. Based on that, I set my miter saw and cut those off. Now, because I already painted it, these bolts were pretty tight to get in there, so I had to hammer them in. But that's actually okay because you want these bolts to be somewhat snug. That way, when they're folded up, they stay there on their own. You want these to be friction fit so you can swing them out and swing them back for storage. Lastly, we just glue on the top. This project, like I said, very quick. This took me about a day to make these things. So get out there in the shop and start building. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. These are super fun and easy to make and all I used was a bunch of scraps from around the shop. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next project.